Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. Please subscribe to DP Tutorials and click on the bell icon for notifications. In this tutorial, let us learn how to set up a 4-day workweek calendar in Pranavara P6. You might be aware that before creating a project, you should be setting up a default calendar for your project. By default, the Primavera P6 picks up the standard 8-hour and 5-day workweek calendar. Let us set up a 4-day, 10 hours per day workweek calendar now. First step is to go to Enterprise and click on Calendars. In this Calendars dialog box, click on Add button. In the Select Calendar to copy from dialog window, select the standard 5-day work week, which is the standard 5-day, 8 hours per day work week calendar. Click this plus icon. Now give the name of your calendar as 4 by 10. Now click on modify. This is the copy of the standard calendar. Let us change this to a 4 day 10 hour per day work week calendar. Click on the work week button here. In the calendar weekly hours dialog box, Type in 10 hours from Monday to Thursday and 0 hours for Friday, Saturday and Sunday and click OK. Now you can see that 4 days in a week are indicated as work days and 3 days which are in grey color as non-work days. Holidays will remain same as per our standard calendar. The last step is very crucial as many of us forget to do. Click on time periods button here. Here you need to specify the number of hours per day, per week and per month and per year. Enter 10 hours per day and hours per week, hours per month and hours per year will remain the same in this case. Now click OK. Finally, click OK on this calendar dialog window. That's it. Our new calendar is created now. Now you can make calendars of your choice in this similar manner. If you want to assign this and make as your default calendar for your project, just go to details section and in the defaults tab, select the calendar ellipse button and assign the default calendar to 4 by 10. So this is all about the how to set up a 4 day work week calendar in Primavera P6. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, please do give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe to DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.